Littleton's Melanie Troxell has invaded what has been pretty much a man's domain, the world of drag racing. She grew up around the sport. Her dad, Mike, was a world champ in 1988. As she competes against the men, does she feel she has something to prove? I don't think I ever identify that as being an issue uh, with me being a female. It's, it's more an issue of just that we're all competitive and you want to go out there and you want to beat you know, the person in the other lane, whether it's a man or a woman. The 25-year-old Troxo must feel like a jet pilot as she pulls nearly three Gs off the starting line and hits a speed of 240 miles per hour. But not only can she drive, but she also works on the car. We all have to pitch in and work on the cars to get to get the maintenance done on it. And, uh, you know, that's something that uh, I think makes you a better driver, be able to feel what's going on in the car, come back and, and talk with everybody and tell them what, what you think's happening with it. A lot of things a person would never think comes into play. Also racing this weekend, 25-year veteran Tom Snyder from Erie. He comes off beating two world champs and winning the all-star race in Ohio last weekend. However, returning home does present problems. Elevation here, we lose about 250 horsepower. So it takes a different rear end ratio, transmission ratio. You do different things with the clutch. The engine just physically doesn't make as much power, so you try to help it down the track. We'll, we'll run about 10 miles an hour slower here and, and 4 tenths of a second slower. Qualifying continues tonight, then elimination for dragsters and funny cars begins at noon tomorrow. From Vandermeer Speedway, Mike Nolan, 7 Sports.